Hey guys, welcome back to Red Devil TV. An absolutely shocking game. I didn't expect to see that starting lineup. I didn't expect to see that performance. And I didn't expect to see some of these players play their last game for Man United this season with that shocking performance. I mean, the low got ripped apart by Zaha, which was surprising to me because he kept him quiet in R Ralph Rangnick's first game of the season under, you know, uh, as Man United manager. It absolutely shocked me how much he got ripped apart. And look, it's not just on the low. I thought at times Alanga didn't get back didn't get back quick enough. And look, Alanga was one of the bright um, players in this game when it came to attacking. He ripped apart some of that, that Crystal Palace defence. But listen, we got ripped apart everywhere. In midfield, in defence. Look, the attack, I thought Cavani was... He was all right at times, but his passing was shocking. How many misplaced passes did he put in today? Again, Bruno going for the pass. That's never there. And you know what? And it's not just that. It's not just that about Bruno. We've been saying this the whole season. He's impatient and he doesn't know how to put in a simple pass. He doesn't, he doesn't like to keep it simple. And every time we're in our own half, what happens? He just assumes that one of our left, uh, uh, one of our fullbacks or centre-backs, whatever, are safe. They're not being pressured by the, the opposition offence. Um, in this case, being Zaha. And how many times did Delo get caught out by Zaha because Bruno just put in a pass into our defenders because he just assumed that we were safe in our own half? He just panics. Bruno just goes for that pass that's never there. He, he doesn't look. He just kicks it. He doesn't even look. And that's what's shocking about Bruno. I mean, his ball retention, I, I heard it's 18% this season, but it's shocking how bad his ball retention is because every time he puts a pass in, it doesn't matter if he goes for a world-class pass, a simple pass... Today was shocking. McTominay, again, putting himself in positions to not get the ball. And even when he drives forward to get the ball into the opposition play attacking players, it's a poor pass. It gets intercepted or it gets misplaced. Shocking. McTominay's not good enough. But again, today, we always talk about players like Ronaldo not being able to press at his age, OK? Cavani was there today, a player who presses. Yes, he's been injured the whole season, but he's a player who presses. Fred today, pressing very high up, leaving McTominay exposed. What's going to happen? McTominay is not a good defensive midfielder. We know he does. He doesn't read the game well. Um, listen, McTominay is not a defensive midfielder. And what happens? Maguire, Lindelof, get exposed. How many times did Maguire put in a pass in today that just got intercepted? It's shocking. And even on the goal, Delo gets ripped apart by Zaha. But what does Lindelof do? He doesn't put his body in the way to get a tackling or an, or an interception. He just lets Zaha take the shot. He doesn't do enough in that situation, Lindelof. You expect Lindelof to put his body in the way, put in a, put in a tackle, put in a block, something. But nah, Zaha just takes a shot and it goes bottom corner. And that's it. And this is what we've seen this whole season. It's not a surprise, but we're lucky to get Europa League football. It's important for Ten Hag to get Europa League football next season to experiment with this team and see what players are not good enough. We've heard about some of these players going to go. Apparently, wan is up for sale. Look, at this point, the look could be up for sale. And I'll be like, you know what? Put him up for sale because today's performance was shocking. And look, Zaha's a tricky player. He's skillful, he's agile. And this is the problem with Delo. I've, I've discussed this with many people. I think Delo's problem is he's not agile enough. And he needs to be a bit more patient in terms of his decision making. He just assumes that Zaha's going to go this way. That Look, it happens with every defender. He's a tough player to, to mark. He's a tough player to read. He is. Zaha's a tough player to read. But he kept him quiet in the first game against Crystal Palace. Ralph's first game. This game was shocking. And look, it was the first game we played a 4 triple 2 Would that have helped? I would have liked to see Bruno on the left, put Hannibal in midfield. Um, the midfield just gets run, run over. I mean, you see Fred and Bruno. We played a 4 2 3 1. But look, McTominay is always exposed. McTominay is always left by himself and he can't do that role. I mean, clearly we need a defensive midfielder. Ralph doesn't have any more options. It's the last game of the season. Who cares? Get the plays in the summer. Get the plays in the summer. Problems today. Possession of the ball, we can't keep it. Um, defence is a shambles. Midfield is a shambles. No surprises there. It's, it's what we've seen the whole season. Um, everything is just poor. In attack, we create some chances. Alango was decent. Um, Hannibal had some some chances in terms of, you know, getting that final pass onto Cavani. But it, it just never got there. It never got there. And this is the thing. Ball retention, interceptions from the opposition team. We just kept losing the ball. We had no flow in the game. Yes, we had some decent spells in possession and, and then that could have created something. But we never, I, I never thought in that game that we were going to score. I never thought that we were controlling the game. I always thought Palace were in control of the game. And it felt like a 1-0 game. It felt like we weren't going to create much. Um, did Ronaldo make a difference not being in the game? I'm not sure about that. Yeah, we created a couple of chances. But for me, look, Cavani's been injured the whole season. I think his head's gone anyway. I don't think he wants to be at Man United anyway. 
he's going to leave. Would Lingard make the difference in the midfield? Probably not. Um, Pogba in the midfield? Probably not. Look, it's a lack of balance in this team. It's a lack of everything in this team. Quality, balance, and at this point, quantity, because we had four youngsters on the bench. And that's it. So, guys, in terms of this team, I'm excited for the transform window. I'm excited to see what players we get. And we're simply not good enough. And we're, we're lucky to get Europa League football, West Ham bottle against Brighton. Brighton helped us out, but they also battered us two weeks ago. So we need to be a little bit more grateful for Brighton to do this because we got battered by them. And they battered West Ham today as well. So, guys, let's see what happens. I'm excited for the transfer window. I'm excited to see what Tanak says about this game. And, look, he's going to have to analyse his players closely. Yes, he, he might have seen some games and seen who who might adapt to his system quicker. But look, if I was him, and I'll look at Delo, if I would look at Lindelof, Lindelof has had a somewhat decent season in comparison to Maguire, in comparison to, you know, other players on the field. But Tomine, Fred's been up and down. Um, look, De Gea, I, I, I can count maybe on, on one or two fingers bad games De Gea's had. He's probably been our player of the season with Ronaldo. Everyone else has been shocking. Sancho's had... Sancho's been like that, Fred's been like that, McTominay's been like that. You know what I mean? Bruno has had assists this season, goals this season, but he's been poor. In possession, he keeps losing the ball. Impatience when putting a pass in. Doesn't handle pressure well in his own half, he doesn't. Um, so guys, let's see what happens. Please make sure to like and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys later.